All right, this is the tenth mission for Splinter Cell Blacklist LNG terminal. I used the original loadout as far as my suit is concerned. I brought sticky camera, uh, uh, st uh, proximity shocker, sleeping gas, and um, I can't remember the other one, but it's not important. I brought the uh, original gun, uh, alter um, special gun, instead of the crossbow, which is what I always do. I always use that gun in these missions. Now what you want to do is you want to go to swing on over here and what you're waiting for is all these men to go back and then that man to land right there sometimes he comes from where he just came from and sometimes he comes from the direction that all those men went back to but whenever he lands there you're safe to go Here I'm trying to beat the guy that comes down this way. Sometimes there's a drone roaming this this upper. Uh, there's that guy I'm trying to beat down to their left. Sometimes there's a little drone that comes down this way. Uh, so you got to be careful with him. I didn't get him on this uh, run, so that's cool for me. If there is a drone, after that guy passes at the bottom, you can just drop down. Let the drone pass one way or the other and then drop, uh, come back up. Now the guy over there to the left, with the one with the red goggles, he does different things. He kills my time here by going to that spot on this playthrough. He's the only one I... And there is a guy that's controlling those drones um, right to the right of the guy with the red goggles. He looks to the left and to the right sometimes. So you gotta be careful with that. Now, I am in the original suit so I have to be real careful when I stealth through this person. Through these both those guys to the right actually. Now this part coming up, um, this part coming up, um, it's really up to you. It, there's no set way to get this part. You got to knock about six or seven men out. Um, the key to remembering, to, the key to this part right here is knocking them out in places that they, the bodies cannot be seen. That's a good spot right there for that guy. Um, if you can get this guy in a hurry and he don't see the body. Now you want to grab him and put him down quietly because there's a guy underneath that can hear you. This is a mistake that worked out for me. I knocked him out. I dropped to the ground and knocked him out. Uh, and that worked out for me like I said. Now I, there's stairs that I could have gone up uh, right here. But I'm in the middle of freaking out that I just dropped to the ground and uh, got that guy that way. And, I, and, and then I was worried about him, so I was like, uh, shit, I don't know, I, I wasn't thinking quick on my feet, I guess you could say. Okay, the, that guy right there, that's down that way, he runs back and forth, so I, I'm real careful with him.
you gotta come take this guy out because sometimes he'll miraculously see bodies so take him out right away and there's a guy back there's a guy back here and then for the very last guy I kinda went the wrong I forgot uh, that this thing falls off right here Skip through that cutscene. Stay sharp up there. The engineers are going to know we're here now. Got your back. Understood, Sam. <laughs> There's a vent right here that you don't have to go through. You can just keep running straight forward and you'll be fine. I go through it for the points. Gonna have to be very careful here. Get down to ground level if you can, Sam. You're right on top of the leader. He's making a run for it. I'm after him. Got it. 
I take the second guy out too. When I was in the when I'm in the the, the stealth suit that's to the max and you can run past people, uh, I don't take that guy out. But because I'm in this suit and I'm limited in time, I just went ahead and take him out. But in a stealthier suit, you don't have to take him out if you don't want to. You can just run right past him.